Hello students, this is Shri Ram Shastri. So today, this video session will be about how to draw the LS of human testis. So basically, human testis is a oval structure like this. Okay, uh, oval structure containing the inner tissue. Then you have the outer layer of tissue. Like this. You have outer layer of tissue then you also have the inner layer of tissue middle layer you can say after the middle layer you can start with the lobules these are the compartments of testis or you can say testicular lobules around 200 to 300 lobules are there in the testis. So how can you draw this diagram in a very fast way? I would like to show. Okay. So these are the different compartments of the testis. Then you can show the diagram of seminiferous tubules inside this. In each uh, uh, testicular lobule around 1, 2 or 3 seminiferous tubules are there. So you can show them like this, these are the tubules. So if you are getting confused, you can draw single only. If you draw it clearly, you can understand it properly. Okay, so these are the seminiferous tubules. So after drawing this seminiferous tubules, you can just continue the diagram here. So these seminiferous tubules, all of them they are corrected generally to a structure like this, this duct like structure. So these duct like structures, they fuse together and form generally a network. Okay. So they form the network of tube like structures. These network of tube like structures then is connected to the vas, vas afferentia. This is vas afferentia. Now here you can continue this layer into a sac like structure. This sac like structure what you see is epididymis. Okay. So now here this portion is connected to the what you call as the vas afferentia. And this vas afferentia continues inside the epididymis and forms a single duct outside called as vasodifference. Clear? Now this is the vasodifferentia. At this region it continues as a duct called vasodifference. So you can label, uh, label the diagram that LS of testis okay heading you can put it like that <clears throat> if you can't see the heading over this side i can put it in downside also okay for the downside you can write it as ls of testis clear so these two regions we call it as you know tunica vaginalis tunica vaginalis this one is tunica albuginea clear and below this there is a vascular tissue you can just put it lines over this so you can understand the vascular layer so this is tunica vasculosa tunica vasculosa okay and these are testicular lobules testicular lobules Inside this, you have the seminiferous tubules. Seminiferous tubules. Okay. Now, this region, you can label it as Rete testis. Rete testis. Okay. So, this region, you can label it as Vasa efferentia. Vasa efferentia. Clear. Now this upper portion, what you see, 
this region is the uh, what do you call as caput part of epididymis this is the body of epididymis which is also can be called as corpus and this region what you see is corda or tail so caput means head corpus means body corda means tail so these are the parts of epididymis okay parts of epididymis you can label it like this and this region is vasodifferens that's all so i hope it's clear how to draw this diagram so today we'll stop it here in the next video we'll continue with the other structures